How's it going? Uh, I have had a bit of an issue with this little dog that I have. So I decided to, uh, to go ahead and um, make something to keep it out from underneath my bed. It's a little Boston Terrier, so it tends to get into things fairly easily. And uh, I couldn't really put stuff underneath the bed in order to keep the animal out because he just keeps coming, or she just keeps coming back in there. So uh, I'm going to make something instead. See, I got this little issue here. So this is the gap. Now there's this thing that goes on here that matches our bed. It's like a skirt or something. Anyways, it covers up the box springs and goes all the way down the floor. And she keeps getting underneath there. See that? And it's only been sitting over for maybe a week or two. But I'm going to stop that today. I'm going to build a little contraption so that she can't do that no more. Because uh, that's just getting old. <laughs> um, wife's about nine months pregnant there's no way she can get underneath there and I don't have time half the, half the time I ain't got the time to do it so but anyways my camera's about ready to go dead so I'm going to throw it on a charger real quick and uh, get the stuff ready alright well I'm just using some old forms that we used to put our basements up with I, uh, I've already measured this out I got a mark there there and there's the same down there and I have this marker crossed for the length I'll get ready to cut that off in a second it's basically just plywood coated but they're so old now it's just plywood it's fairly thick so, yeah. Alright, I got this line made out. Goes all the way down. But what I'm going to do is, since I know this edge is completely straight, well, this has a little hiccup right there, but that's not going to make a difference. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out, and then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to line it up with the line that I have here at this end, and the line that I have at that end down there and then draw my line because I don't have a chalk box so that'll be my two ends and then I'll cut my shorter piece out for the front on this side alright got these cut that's my end this piece here is nothing I'm going to take some sandpaper and sand these edges down take them inside and pre-fit them and see how they're going to look Get my hinge going on both ends here, or well, the one end, and uh, wife should be home here shortly with my paint. So, that's that so far. Well, I got this pretty much done now. I got the hinge on here, it'll open and close the end. I had to grind out some of it in order to get the hinge to fit. The other side's still in the house. And I'm getting ready to paint it up and put it underneath there and I'll be done. This will be keep this will keep that damn dog out of there. And the cat and any other animal that maybe decides to crawl underneath there. Possibly even one of my kids if they could fit. This obviously doesn't go here, it goes at the end, but it's only the space that I had to use, so. But it's painted black. The inside's not. And there's for a reason for that. Mainly because you're never going to see the inside, it's going to be up against the bed. Hello. It's finished. What's Daddy? What's it doing? Well, come here and lift it up. It's all bolted into place. Oh. <laughs> hey, this is not show your wife day. I got a lock on this end that comes up, so this swings out. 
Leaves that damn dog and that cat from underneath there. That dog. That one. It's been my nightmare. What? What? Wanna go outside? Wanna go outside? Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Come on, let's go outside. Go side. Go side. Abby. Abby. Let's see my other dog. Trixie. I burned something out here. You getting on the trampoline? Yes. Oh, don't come in here. Oh, don't knock those anywhere. Oh, you almost died. What? <laughs> Trixie, what are you doing in here again? Didn't I tell you to get out of here? Yeah, that's the dog that keeps dragging everything everywhere underneath that bed, and I'm tired of it. So. I done fixed your ass.